Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 29 and today we will be considering application of rotate instructions. So let's see what we have in application uh, of rotate instructions. Though there could be number of applications in which rotate instructions can be used, but most important or one of the key application if we consider it is basically serial to parallel or parallel to serial conversion. Uh, what is parallel or what is serial at this stage? I hope it's clear, but if you don't know, so it's like uh, serial means you are sending a bit by bit information or serial communication means you are transferring information bit by bit. That means one bit transfer, another bit transfer, then another bit transfer. So this is called serial uh, uh, communication or serial uh, transmission, right? Uh, there is another way in which you can actually transfer multiple bits at a time. So this is called parallel transmission, right? So actually you can easily convert parallel data into serial data or serial data into parallel data uh, using rotate instructions very easily. So let's consider an example in which we will try to consider that a parallel data is coming out, right? Uh, from the uh, sorry, it's coming into the microcontroller. Let's say pick 18F microcontroller. So let's say port B is receiving some parallel information and then we want to transmit it serially. Let's say port B is receiving uh, parallel information. So it means it port B is eight bit information, eight bit port. So it will be receiving eight parallel bits and then we can actually convert those parallel eight bits into serial uh, eight bits, right? So let's see how we, are going to do this uh, using rotate instructions. So as I told you, uh, this is a scenario that eight bit information is being received uh, through port B. That means uh, port B is receiving eight bit information. So eight bits are simultaneously received through port B. So this is a parallel information. And what we have to do, send this information serially via RC0. So eight pins are being received with eight pins of port B and those eight bits can be easily transferred serially using a single pin, which is RC0. So this is called parallel to serial conversion. And let's see how we are going to uh, perform this task using pick 18 f microcontroller. So let me write the code. Okay, this is the code I have written for this application. So let's understand how this code is performing this task. So very first instruction is BCF press C comma zero. That means we are declaring zero pin of port C as output port. So this is this is a point that we have done multiple times. So I'm not gonna explain it. I hope this is much clearer, right? Then move file to file port B Z comma zero zero hash. That means whatever the information, eight bit information, which is being received at port B is going to copy into zero zero hash. So a copy of port B is now stored in the port B. Then what we do, since these are eight bits, so we are um, going to transfer those bit, right? You know that this is eight bit information. Let me write it. Uh, let's say port B value is uh, eight bit, you know that. So these are eight bits. So now we will make a count of, we will transfer this bit by bit and we will do it. How many times we will do it? Uh, eight times, right? So you will transmit eight bit, one bit, two bit, three bit, four bit, five bit, six bit, seven bit, and eight bit. So eight bit will be transmitted. That is why I'm just making a counter of uh, eight decimal or decimal eight. So I'm saving decimal eight into working register and then working register value is stored in zero to hacks. So zero to file have this count of eight, right? Now what I'm going to do move file to five zero zero hacks comma port C. So the zero zero hacks, which has the port B value, right? That support B value was one zero one one zero zero one and one, right? So what is going to happen first time this value will transfer directly to the port C, but we know that only one pin of port C is output, which is this RC zero, right? So this one will transfer and rest of the bit will not transfer. So only one is transferred through RC0. Next, what we are doing, we are actually 
producing certain delay call delay so there will be certain delay after this command so that one bit is transferred easily and then what we are doing rotating it right through carry uh, sorry okay there is a mistake it should be ncf okay i corrected it so it's it is basically rr ncf that means we are rotating it and we are not using it uh, using any carry flag and we're rotating it towards right so what is going to happen once you going to apply this rotate instruction this one will come up uh, this one will come up here right let me rotate it for you so one and then one is zero come up here one this one this zero will come up here this zero will come up here and this one will come up here so now we have actually move this bit to this position and that now what we are doing we are decrementing zero to hex which has this this decimal at since we have done one uh, we have already performed one bit transmission so this d8 which is stored in zero two so zero two value was eight earlier it would become now seven after decrementing this uh, in, in this instruction and it will check whether we have performed eight time it or not so we have just performed it one time so this is skip instruction won't work and we will actually come back to this xyz level then again what we do we transmit it again so this one uh, earlier this one was transmitted now this one will transmitted so one is already transmitted last time so another one is now transmitted now what we are going we are going to apply we are going to repeat this procedure so now zero zero hacks is already moved to port c now we will replay uh, call a delay so a delay will be introduced of certain time i'm not writing any subroutine so we don't know what exact time it is but it is will be there will be a certain delay then we are again rotating ncf that means we are rotating uh, right again so what is going to happen uh, this zero which is already here okay let me write uh, in very first iteration score uh, the value was 1011 in the next iteration it was 110110 and 01 so now we are rotating it second time so it would become zero and that would become zero is one 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 zero uh okay that is basically zero and this is one and this is one this is zero let me correct it this is zero and this is and uh, this this should be what this should be one so now this zero will transfer in the next iteration what is going to happen we will rotate it right again so it will become zero it will become one one then it will be zero then it will become what one one this will come up here and this zero will come up here so this time a zero will transfer here right and so on so this data eventually this data after eight iteration will be transferred but this transmission will be happening serially because we are transmitting bit by bit and we received it eight bit information so that's how we are using rotate instruction by uh, for conversion of parallel information into serial information so i hope you have understand this application there could be any other uh, many other applications right for example you can say that uh, uh, we have we are receiving eight bit information and we want to count the number of zeros present in that bit you can actually rotate every bit by bit uh, and you can count those number base right uh, you can actually tell what what are the number of uh, 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 zeros present in, in inside that eight bit information so you in in either of the application you are using what rotate instructions either you are going to rotate through carry flag or either you are going to uh, rotate without carry flag right you can rotate towards left you can rotate towards right according depending upon the application requirement right so you can use it very frequently i will suggest to apply uh, to apply these rotate instruction in various application especially when we are going to conduct your lab sessions i will uh, ask you to complete your lab uh, tasks so that you can actually be familiar with these instructions if you have any confusion you can post in comment section uh, it will be very beneficial if you're going to practice it
okay that's it from this lecture if you have any confusion uh, please post in comment section thank you so much for listening